Hey guys, how's it going? So uh, me and Olivia are in one of the city parks and we're on a little mission. We're gonna ride our bicycles and we're gonna see if there's any birch trees around here because what we're after is a uh, birch polypore. And uh, the reason for that, to use it as a fire starter. Oh, now time I got my other pants already dirty because we don't want to got this one all dirty again. Oh, okay. So, so yeah, so we're going to go try to see if we can find any polypores on any, any birch trees. Uh, if not, then we'll have to go on a separate mission another day. All right. Olivia. Yeah? Do you see over there in the distance? Yeah. Here, I'll try to zoom in. <gasps> I see what I think are birch trees. They might be quake and aspens. But they, but, but they might be birch trees. So we're going to go find out. And hopefully one of them has a polypore. Well, it's definitely a birch tree. But I don't see any polypores on this one. So there's one more birch tree over there. So we're going to go take a look. No polypores, but did get a little bit of birch bark, so at least there's that. Well, there you go, guys. The Red River, she is pretty darn high. As you can see, it's starting to come up on the roads. And uh, right here, it's actually all obviously grass normally. We're supposed to be getting a 30 centimeter blizzard this week, so I don't think it's going to help our river situation at all. I know we're lucky enough that we had the lowest river in decades but then we also got the most snow we've had in decades so i mean <laughs> do you see the squirrel yeah little squirrel eating a nut let's see if i can zoom in yeah right there so that goose is banded I've never goose hunted before, but apparently a banded goose is like a trophy or something like that. Usually goose hunters will have all the bands on their goose call. So that was neat. Just notice the band on that goose. Yeah, see, there's definitely tons and tons of quake and aspens, but uh, the birch here is few and far between. And realistically, we need uh, we need dead birch. So keep on keeping on, I guess. Well, there you go, guys. We found some polypores on this birch. That's like right beside the road, too. Um, so they're all pretty small. Oh, nothing on this side. So I will get a couple of these. Uh, I was hoping for some bigger ones. I think I'd make better tinder. But I'm pretty sure I can make these work. There we go, guys. We got a couple. Uh, there's the birch polypores, anyways. What we're going to do with this is actually we're going to make some tinder. So I'm going to uh, cut it apart. I'm still going to go try to search some, some bigger one, for some bigger ones because these are pretty tiny. But I think I should still be able to make this work. Alright, so I'm just going to head back to the truck. Uh, might do a cut. A oh, Olivia, look. Look at the deer. Do you see him? Yeah. Do you see a deer? All right, got some deer. There's always lots of wildlife in the city, that's for sure. Just gotta, look, Olivia, look how many there is. Yeah, it's probably a dozen that just crossed the road. Oh, look, Olivia, there's even more coming. Wow. Yeah. So, we got a couple polypores and a whole bucket of birch bark, so pretty good haul. Now, uh, now just time to go uh, process these polypores and make them into some wicked tinder. Yeah, All right, so those are those birch polypores that we uh, that we got off that birch tree. So, actually, I don't because these these are young. I don't actually have to cut them all apart and to process them. So I'm just going to cut them, like I'm going to cut off this stuff right here. And then I'm just going to cut them in pieces. I'm going to put them into my char tin. And then we're going to uh, char them up. And I'm going to show you how wicked these things um, hold an ember. So there you go. Got all the polypores in here. So we're just going to go to the backyard. 
We're going to fire up the old stick stove, and uh, we're going to try these up. All right, you guys remember the stick stove? Anyways, we're going to start off with a little bit of birch bark. That's what we're going to use to start the fire with. And then, here's that container. We're just going to be putting right on top here to char it up. We're going to start an easy fire today, so we're just going to use the fair serum to start the fire. Go. There we go. So, I'll throw that right on there. Leave it for about 15 minutes, and then we'll come back and see how uh, how she looks. So there we go, fresh off the fire. So let's check her out. Well, she charred up pretty nice, I think. I think that's gonna work. All right, so only one way to tell. So let's take one of these. I will normally be using my flint and steel on this, but I just want to show you guys how well this takes a spark. Some great stuff. There we go. There we go. See? So there we go. And you know what, guys? That will burn for a very, very long time. So this has also been called uh, horse hoof fungus, uh, tinder fungus. There you go. See how, how long that's burning for? I mean, you get your tinder. You have time to actually light this. Go get your tinder bundle. Take this and put it in there. So what they used to actually do. Um, in the past is they would actually uh, let me just put this down okay so in the past what they would have done is they would have actually taken a big piece of that uh that horse hoof fungus or the polypore and they would have actually put a little ember on there and they would have brought their fire from one location to the next so you don't have to worry about trying to start a fire when you have very limited resources so it was really good for that uh now if you guys have ever heard of otzi He's the Iceman, so they found, um, I believe he's the oldest known human being to be found. Uh, it was a body that was found in the, frozen in the ice. Well, they found with him um, some polypore that he would have probably used for tinder. Anyways, that was a lot of fun to add another tool to the old uh, fire making toolkit. So if you guys enjoyed that content and you guys are new to this channel, don't forget to check the rest of my content. I got lots of wicked fire making content actually. Um, and if you guys are returning viewers, thank you very much for all the love and support. And we'll catch you guys on the next one.